Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. A big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for stopping in and joining us here. Um, well, I finished up my Enrero that was leaking water out up under that power head, and now I'm bringing in number two. This one needs a carburetor. So, I looked around in my stuff, and uh, if you're wondering why frost's coming out of my mouth, i got all the doors open and it's cold outside. We're supposed to get about, I think, seven to eight inches of snow tonight. Oh, well. Um, but, I'm going to show you something. Show you, show you. Oh, oh. Ain't it pretty? Oh. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? A brand smacking new Enduro 40 Cabarepa. Oh. No plastic. Well, a little bit right there for the choke lever. But other than that, brass and aluminum and stainless. Oh. That's what I like to see. Ain't it pretty? Oh. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get to putting that on. Hook everything up. I see. I still, I thought it might be in there. i got to look better yet. But uh, the air silencer. Excuse me. Pardon me. Um, the air silencer is not in there, I don't think. That means I put it somewhere else. I'll find it. But I say we just get right into it. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
to get the spruce needles out. It just amazes me that even with the hoods on, I don't understand it, but they get in there. I went out and located my air box and other parts. And uh, that air box is kind of critical. And the reason why is it has the choke. See that little flat part there? That's what goes in the uh, in this pull lever down here. So, yeah, that's a critical part because it's there's a slot right there that that goes in, and I got. Most of the spruce needles out of there. Just amazes me how they get in there like that. So, here's the brand new carburetor. Oh. Got the gasket already on. So, this guy. Probably have to, I don't think I can get it yet. Okay, so. I can easily. Ba -dum -ba -dum. There's that. I got it labeled from when I took them off. Car bolts. Should say carb nuts. Oh, there they are. Now let's see if my old fat fingers can get in there. Now this Enduro 40 here, it's uh, it has an actual more of a blue paint job. The paint, it's still a metallic color, but it's blue, er, blue er. time going on through your finger. You got the big old fat fingers like I got. You know what? I believe I could be a better guitar picker if I didn't have these big old fat fingers too. I say that but some of the you know you see those really fast finger pickers like Old Chet Adkins or Eddie Van Halen, God rest his soul. Got them old spidery fingers, about 10 inches long each. And they go up and down the guitar neck, like one of these old spiders I find climbing around these outboards that won't kick me. But not me, I got these big old fat feelers, so. Don't guess I'll ever be one of them. Lightning fast spider finger guitar players. That's all right. You ever heard of John Prine? God rest his soul. One of the best songwriters I ever knew. Um, he said, and like I said, he was one of the best songwriters there ever was. COVID got him. Um, but he said, to be successful 
as a songwriter, guitar player, entertainer. He said, he told Johnny Cash, because Johnny Cash was asking him how he does that, you know, that finger picking, uh, what do they call that? Travis picking or something like that? He said, how do you do that? And he said, well, I just learned myself that way. He said, it don't matter. Because Johnny Cash was saying, I, you know, I just can't do that. I just know these simple chords. And he says, well, all you need to know is three chords and the truth. Ain't it so? He wrote some good songs. Three chords and the truth. That's all you need. All right. So, the pretty cobber ape oh. is on. Not all of it. Now, I guess I better go ahead on and hook up that fuel hose. Now we gotta get this choke on here, I think. Like I said, the choke's tied into this. Oops, dropped one of my screws. And this little other hose goes right on the back of the air silencer. Right there. Got that other gasket almost forgot. I'll put that over you that other gasket. Yeah. You got this front gasket and I'm gonna put a little Vaselinus Petroleus Jellionus on there to help it stick there till I get the screws in. little dabs here and there. there. Now I think it goes facing down. Looks like it do. Like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. And we got to make sure we get this little flat linkage in there. Get it? I did. Then the screws that I always have a habit of throwing on the floor. You have to get them in there. missing one so I'll have to find it. Okay, and then we got to hook up this choke linkage. Yeah, yeah. Looks like it's working. Okay, my throttle link is working. I hooked up my Petroleus. And I'd say it's time to get this thing in that tank and see if it's going to do what the carburetors do. All hooked up.
Give it a little gas. I'm gonna open the door. Put a little bit. Just a little bit. And turn on the noisy sucker. Put that nice full um, filter. anywhere. I need to shorten that fuel hose though. some of the Kodiak green mold on there so get her, get her all pretty little crap will get everywhere look at that yeah no green mold anywhere there's a crack it'll It'll get in there. That's crazy. But I can get in there with my little pick and get that mess out. So I'm on this side too. There we go. Gotta get the Kodiak green mold off. I really like this this kind of bluish color that uh, this particular motor has on it. Yeah. And I'll let this dry for a little, and then I'll put the uh, put a spray a little corrosion block lubricant on there. looking outboard though 40 enduro Well, there they are, a pair of 40 horsepower 
Yamaha Enduros. Both of them are all good to go and ready to get to work. Just sitting up there minding his own business in the sunshine. About 20 degrees out, I don't blame him. And ravens don't like him. Actually, there's two bald eagles. If you look right to the right, you can kind of see the beak of another one. But it's a young one, so it's in brown plumage. All right, T, we got two Yamaha 40 Enduros all cleaned up. All squared away, lubed up, new carba, a raper on the one. Oh, see? Here's the old one. I got it all marked up. All saved and dating. Because you never know when I'm going to need a needle or a seed or a linkage. But we've got another victim in here. They just keep coming. So, this one. If you were watching the videos a little bit ago, you saw maybe. Yes, I videoed it. And I said, the fella dropped it off. It is a freebie. Might be junk. Might be parts. I don't know yet. Um. Looking at the propeller, there could be some lower unit issues and the standard. So, uh, but the price was right. The parts are good. I was happy to get it. So we're going to do a fax check on it. And you say, what is it? What is it? I show you. I show you. You probably remember. I only got this a couple weeks ago. There it is. The Mercury 40 horsepower C Pro number two. And what you're seeing down there, those other stickers, those are shipping stickers. So it was shipped freight here to my neck of the woods. And it's got a little religion. It's holy right here. Um, seems to shift. Let's get that hood off and see what's under it. You honest ass. Okay. Not too bad in the inside. I don't see no creepy crawlies crawling out yet. They'll come. Twin cylinder, single car, kind of like the old Enduro right there. It looks to me, but I don't know. I think I was able to tell what year this was. It just looks like there's some stuff missing. I don't know. I, I've never had one of these C-Pro 40s in here before. This is the first one. I've had a couple of C-Pro, Mercury C-Pro 20s. It was a 20 and a 25, I think. And, uh, but the first thing we'll do is get a fax check on it, make sure we got dun -dun -dun. Compressiones, you understand us. I speak in Spanish. So we'll make sure we got some compression. A little ook in there. Let me see real quick. Okay. Okay. 
way the throttle works, it's not seen. Let's see. That would be okay. That's forward, I guess. Something tells me we're going to end up pulling the uh, lower unit on this thing. Cause I ain't getting nothing. No, I ain't getting nothing there. I guess that's neutral, and that would be reversed. And I ain't getting nothing. But you know what? That's a spun hub. That's what that is. I can feel it. That that feels like a spun hub. Yeah. So I think that props garbage. And if we're lucky, that's all it'll be. But let's go ahead and uh, look at these spark plugs. Get them out. Do us a spark check. And uh, compress the honest check. First thing I got to get on some feeler protectors. Gotta protect my feelers. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. All right. What's this thing got? It's got champion plugs with some sweat of some sweats in it. These should be the Mercury style, 78s or 87s, something like that. You know, you know, the Permagat ones. At least that's what Merc normally runs in their motor. We'll find out in just a second. These are, here's the top one I'm taking out now. I've got to keep them straight. Ooh. They're not the permagaps. They are QL78YC. A Yankee Charlie. That's the top one. That's the bottom. Top's in my right hand. The top one looks all sooted up, kind of. The bottom one looks like a little better. I see a little tan on the electrode there. But anyway. Of course. <laughs> really don't need those to turn turns over. Um, okay, I think, I think I'm in neutral reality neutral. Let's see. Get this thing to pull over. Get us some little sparky spider. Okay, it should be these top two right here. And the switch, there's an off and on switch. Now, I don't know if they're supposed to be a... Well, let's just see what we do. Top two there. Woo-woo! Good hot sparky. Now, I do remember when I got this motor from the fella, he said it did run, but not well. I remember him saying that to me. And, uh, whatever that means. Whatever that means. So, let's put away the Sparky Spider. And let's get us a compression gauge. Up in here, up in here. We are on zero. We will go with the bottom plug first. Is what we will do. Okay. And we are on the zero. Let's get it four good ones. We got about 120, about 125 even, 125 on the bottom. So, let's look at this top. Okay, we are on zero on the top. And four more. Four more 
couple good ones. And we are at 120 even. So, I'm going to go ahead and write that on the... Cylinder head as uh, there is plenty of room. So we had 120 on the top and 125. Come on, Okay, 120, 125, those are good numbers. And we got good spark. Well, the old Carby linkage over here. Seems to be working good. And, uh, gosh, maybe I've got spark, I've got compression. While I got those plugs out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, squirt a little bit of tri-flow, I think, into the cylinders just to help it pop to life, if it will. Then I think I'm going to put it in the tank. And just see if it'll run and what it'll do. I'll be right back. Well, one thing I noticed right off the bat, this, this primer ain't working. I took this hose here off. And nothing's coming out of there, so something's clogged there. So, But I, I put triflow in the cylinder, so. Well, let's tighten this up. I squeezed the bulb and it felt like the carburetor was filling up. We know we got spark, we know we got compression. But, let's see what we get. Let me turn on this noise box. Alrighty. Here we go. Stay tuned for part two on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.